Hello, my sisters and brothers. My name is Miss Shelley. I am the High Priestess for the Council of Galactic Federations on Earth. We are a council of higher spirituality, astro, and human light beings, which oversee all tasks and duties performed by the Galactic Federations, Associations, Councils, and Affiliations. The Council of Galactic Federation's mission is to gather all existing Galactic Federations for the purpose of tearing down the old ways, beliefs, and foundations of the old world and organizing, then implementing new foundations, structures, democracies, and societies built truly for the people and by the people. This is the beginning of Earth's birthing pains and her rebirth that will follow. I am calling for the unification of the original tribe members of Earth, all Galactic Federations, Associations, Affiliations, members and star seeds. I am calling for help in funding and help in assistance with negotiations in the government, spiritual and political leaders, and the people of Earth by healing, activating their dormant DNA, and revealing the truths of human existence. Our goal is to build and produce a poverty and pollutant free world that provides free esoteric education for all species throughout the super universes to freely and safely evolve on planet Earth. I am constantly working and pursuing ways to successfully find common ground between humans, other forms of life, and worlds so we can all learn, grow, evolve, and coexist together on Earth as one. The Council of Galactic Federations is always striving towards integrating Earth and its galactic ancestors in the cosmos as one super planet for all beings throughout the super universes to enjoy, live, and create their own heaven without fear. Our job is to help humans evolve and shift with Mother Gaia Earth, whom is changing with or without us. It's the best to just jump on the train and create your own heaven on earth now. Tonight, I bring to you a most special anointing, a mass anointing which has never occurred in human history. This will be the start of your freedom from earth illusions and the liberation of Gaia Mother Earth's abuse. I am unleashing esoteric abilities, power, knowledge, and wisdom into the world, which will awaken the goddesses and gods across the world. And it will activate an energy vortex in numerous human beings that will propel a spiritual transformation into the super light beings that they were born to be. I now call to the four corners of the universe. The universal elements of Earth, air, fire, and water, the spiritual hierarchy, and the benevolent astral light beings for their resurrection of the gods and goddesses here on Earth to rise up, awaken their divine abilities, and help humanity during these transitional times. I call all tribes, galactic federations, galactic councils, and Earth delegates to unite with me in the order of Mesoltec. I am many, and I am one, with all goddesses and gods. I am the sinner, and I am the saint. I am the virgin, and I am the prostitute. I have clothed myself in red and wear silver to show you all that no matter what sins you do, you are forgiven. It is you who does not forgive others or yourselves. To err is human, but to forgive it is divine. You have put yourselves in chains and drunk from the well of forgetfulness. I come to free humanity and to anoint the future super beings of earth. Awake, sleeping masters, from your chains and grave of forgetfulness. You are the goddesses and gods from the ultraviolet realm of the highest form of love, the home of Elohim. All your hurts, bad habits, hang-ups, guilts, angers, and suffering are now released into the universal God source for rapid healing and spiritual transformation into your divine light being bodies. We specifically anoint all unlimited access to supernatural knowledge and wisdom for the use of spreading the real truth of existence worldwide. Granting blessings, healings, activating and upgrading dormant DNA throughout humanity, Earth, and the super universes as a whole. Every person you touch will feel the God Source energy within you. And activate. Every step you take will be protected in your path from negativity. You have a strong connection between you and your guides, guardians, and light beings from the ultraviolet realm. It is time to utilize it. I now activate by the power of the Goddess Source in oneness with all deities, goddesses, and gods within me to awaken your many souls and lives and memories as you are many and are one, releasing your divine powers to overcome all perceived obstacles and reverse the power your enemies have gained over you for the use of love and healing. You are a royal priestess and priesthood. You are the God source. 
You now have complete power over your earthly body. You can completely heal and bring into balance anything that is degenerating, attacking, or out of order in your body or life. You have the ability to manifest anything on earth. It is your divine right to manifest divine luck, synchronicity, prosperity, joy, wealth, and abundance. This is my will with all my might. Amen. Anshallah. Salam. So me mode it be. And so it is. I am Miss Shelley, teacher of love, wisdom, and knowledge. I am a high priestess at the Council of Galactic Federation of Light. Thank you. The conclusion I've come to is incredibly wild, that those in charge have been successful in keeping secret the greatest story of mankind. The evidence is overwhelming that Earth is being visited by intelligently controlled extraterrestrial spacecraft. The CIA guy standing next to me says, we're confiscating all this data and you're all sworn to secrecy. They've all been studying this. They have more data than I do. So the, the government has dumped disinformation and, and misinformation into the field for decades. They've undermined research. I, I have lost uh, faith in representative government. I, I truly think we're in gridlock. It doesn't work. And so we need to make a change. I think it's ignorant of any people not to seek out what we need to know to continue the universe. You give this committee a lot of reasons for us to say, open those files. You're walking up to it and you touch it. What do you do? Touch it, that? Do you grab it? What, tell us about that. Okay. I started doing the walk around 360 of the, uh, of the object. And uh, as I came around, I, I seen there was an inscription on, on the front. Uh, and this is what you saw, right? That's what I saw. So I started walking around the craft, and I, I seen the glyphs. And uh, as I, you know, uh, ran my hand from the uh, fabric of the craft, uh, it was smooth to touch. Uh, you ran your hands along it. Oh, uh, yeah. I, I believe that the time is now to lift the veil of secrecy that has shrouded this subject for over 60 years, and the subject of UFOs should now be openly accepted in the mainstream media. They exist, they are here to save us against it, the insanity of our leaders. I agree with you, they should open those Roswell files. There is only one way to regain trust, find and tell the truth. out there, if it's real, we have a right to know.